Alright guys, so I'm anticipating some questions we're going to have on the 1.2 function notation homework, which is day one of 1.2. Um, the notes doesn't really go explicitly into function notation, which is why I'm just taking a minute to go over it in a graph and in a table. So when it's just a variable that you're plugging into an equation, you can solve. But here you have to look. So every number that's in parentheses represents the x value. And basically it's asking if x is this number, what is y? So you should be able to tell, tell that by looking at a graph or by looking at a table or by plugging it into an equation. So when x is 1, what is y? So it's going to be 1 here. Or I'm sorry, 2. When x is 1, y is 2 um, because of the solid dot. So because it's an open hole here, that value does not count. So the only one that comes up is the one that's going to be the solid dot. When f is negative 5, or when x is negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is y? That's going to be negative 2. When x is negative 7, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, it is also negative two. So even though there's no dot, it's still the value, it's still a line. When x is four, one, two, three, four, y is um, right here. Let's see, one, two, three, seven. All right, and then when x is negative nine, which is gonna be over here, um, what is y? So it's not going to be negative 2 because we have that hole in the graph, but it's actually going to be this dot up here that is solid. And that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. All right, table is going to be quite a bit easier. Um, so the x values are on top and the y values are on the bottom. So when x is negative 2, y is 6. When x is 0, y is 10. When x is a positive 1, y is 8. Now this last one is a little bit trickier doing the opposite. So it's saying f of x is equal to 4. So it's saying y is 4. So when y is 4, what is x? And that's going to be 3. All right, and that is a review of function notation.